G'day guys, Will here. Welcome back to the channel. So we're back in the seat of the MX-5 today in the brand new sim racing setup with the new PC, new dual PC streaming setup and everything as well. So you'll find straight away the recording quality is a ton better now than it was previously. We're still sorting out a couple of little bits and pieces. You can see my little screen on my right hand side here that I use for my telemetry and stuff's not quite working yet, but we're very, very close. So throughout the rest of this week, we'll be sorting all of that stuff out. Uh, but today's focus is the race at Lime Rock Park. Now, unfortunately, it's the version of Lime Rock Park that has that horrible chicane in it that I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with, and that causes absolute chaos. So what I thought was um, I would do something a little bit different this morning. We've got about 10 minutes before the race starts, so I thought I'd do a 10-minute 10, 10 sort of practice session here, see if I can improve my lap times at all, and then we'll jump into qualifying and the race from there. So I'll provide the timestamps in the description below for you as well if you want to skip over the... Um, um, if you want to skip over the practice and jump straight to qualifying or jump straight to the race, you can do so. Don't feel bad about skipping through. I know different people are interested in different things, which is why I try to provide as much content as possible and then you can watch the bits that you're interested in. But anyway, let's hit the track now. I'm doing sort of, I think my best lap at the moment's a 101.6. Uh, so I really want to try and get that down into the low 101s during this session before the race starts. I don't know whether it's going to be achievable, but we will do our best. So let's jump across to the game now. and hit the track. Yeah, so there we go, my 101, my best is a 101.6 according to the little panel there. And uh, let's get the relative up on the screen as well for you guys. I don't have, um, actually we'll do, we'll do lap timing. I don't have my um, caps working just yet, so you won't have the little overlay for this race. It's another thing that I'll have to sort out for the next race. But, it but all in all, we're getting the pretty close to being completely happy with the setup now. Celsius. So I usually try to stay in third around here. Now you need to try and not carry too much speed around that turn because it slows you down through this section and that was not a good example at all. Now this is where I know that I'm losing a lot of time compared to whoop, miss shift. This is where I know I'm losing a lot of time compared to other people. I'm breaking quite early here, running out a little bit wide, shift into third, cut in nice and tight, and try not to crash. <laughs> now we can hold this corner completely flat through fourth. And then the last turn again, I'm a little bit sketchy with. I don't know whether it's able to be taken flat. I'm backing off just very slightly, just not even touching the brake, but just backing off a little bit. The track limits are quite sketchy there. If you um, if you run out wide onto the dirt, it falling. tends to falling. give you a penalty. Yes. So, a little bit tricky. Was break here halfway between the 200 and the 100 meter, nice and early on the gas. And try to carry a little bit of speed through the turn, a little touch on the brake again to kiss this apex, and then back on the gas again as quickly as possible. Keep it in third gear. Back off on the gas a little bit. We want to take nice and tight there so that we can switch around and carry as much speed as possible through that turn. Sector one time is good. Okay. Okay, so that seemed to not penalize me then for kind of going through those barriers, so that's good. We've gained a bit of time there. This is actually gonna be, <laughs> on our second lap, we're gonna improve, I think. Fastest lap for McDonald, 101.37. So this is going to be a 101.3, which is kind of what my target was, so that's good. Yeah, 101.3, exactly. B3. Sector 3 so times, okay. We can definitely improve on that chicane, though, I think. Apparently you can cut that a lot more than you think. Cutting some time again. Nice. Just done it. One hundred two point seven five. Try not to run too wide here. Oh, 
Ah, oh, lost a bit of time there. We're 0.4 up at one point. 101, almost 101 flat. Your lap time was 101.07. Well, we've surpassed our target now within a couple of laps, so that's positive. Oh, we've got a spin up. Don't reverse onto the track without looking. Ah, compromise that lap, unfortunately. Ah, it's so annoying when people do that. They just don't look. They just drive straight out. All right, let's try and get fast through here again. <clears throat> the leader has just done a. Okay. Oh no, that did, that did give me a black flag that time. So there's a limit there, obviously. You can't just go bashing straight through it, but let's see if we can suss Second out exactly where that limit is. Four seconds off the pace. Sector 3 is 3.5 seconds off the pace. Yeah, I know, that's because I backed off, Jim. Oh, this is slow. I'm going to spin. No, caught it. Oh, did I catch it? No. <laughs> Thought I'd caught it, and then I spun again. All right, let's not get in this guy's way. Nobody else coming around. No, we're clear. It's just done a 59.18. I always find my, my first couple of laps tend to be my best ones when I'm not overthinking things and then I start to try too hard and I make mistakes. Okay, we got away with it that time. P3. Okay, try again. Whoa, what's going on here? It's sliding all over the place. That was very slow. I feel like my tyres have overheated or something maybe. Can't see my tyre temperature from where I am at the moment. 30, the track temperature is increasing. 40. I don't know whether that's 42. hot or cold though, because I don't normally watch my tyre temperatures. It's not something that I monitor. So, anyway, let's try through here again. No, it's sliding all over the place. Let's um, let's just give the tyres a chance to cool down a little bit, maybe. Sector 2 is 3.7 off the pace. Alright, try again. Don't think the tyres have cooled down at all, but. Sector 3 is 1.2 seconds off the pace. Losing time there, definitely. Not had to back out again. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Touched the curb and we're in the wall. Ah! <laughs> Bad luck, Will. Don't rush. Get it, uh, yeah. Get it back in the race. Don't rush. Let's go restart. What happened there? I just kissed the curb, I think. Yeah, I, I was way too aggressive on my weight transfer. I flicked the car the other way. You can see it just made the back end step out. Ouch. So you can see it right. Let's have another look. Right there, I flicked the I flicked the car across way too aggressively and it brought the rear end out. And then as soon as I touched the grass, it just put me in the wall. So lesson learned. Keep going. Alright, so we'll quickly see if we can learn from what we um, the mistakes that we were making. In the earlier practice session, it is clear. Push now. 
we should have time to get around maybe one and a half times so I'm going to adjust my line pretty significantly through that S bend go out a lot wider than I was and then hopefully that will allow us to use the balance and the transfer of weight of the car to sort of hook us around rather than sort of having to manhandle it around that tight bend so I think if we can nail that we should be able to break into the one minutes pretty easily So we're going to brake nice and early here, lightly on the brakes, out nice and wide, and then cut back in, like that. And I think if we can nail that, mid to high, one minutes is on the cards. Back off a little bit here and back on the gas again. Try to carry a little bit more speed through there as well. Alright, let's try to do that once more. Quick so far. Now I just gotta replicate this in qualifying. No, it wasn't as good as the last lap. It'd be pretty much identical time, I think. Four hundredths. But your quickest overall. But whoa, and I spun. Get it off the track. <laughs> Conveniently timed spin there. Okay, take your time. Just get it started. We'll That's the, the end of the session. P two. All right. So we know what we have to do. Now we just have to do it. <laughs> Always easier said than done, but let's see. Your exit's clear. Don't cross the white line. We have two. The white line. Just at a decent time. Okay, I won't cross the white line. Must be colorblind like me. Apparently, my computer's purple. to get a good exit of the final turn. That felt good. Okay. Bit of a drift there, but we're still good. So far, wasn't the best through there, but we're okay. Oh no! <laughs> Try again. I knew I was a little aggressive, but didn't think I'd been that aggressive. Okay, make sure we get a good exit speed for the next lap. The track temperature is decreasing. That's it's a shame. 41 <laughs> Celsius. Balls that up.
Try again. Nah, not good. See if see what we can recover. We've got a good speed through there. Might actually do our best lap still. Oh, yes, we cracked a minute one. <laughs> That's pole. Pole? Wow. <laughs> Considering we screwed up that middle sector, that's um, quite surprising. We'll see if we stay on pole. We cracked a minute, but just through that last sector, I was able to gain so much. Oh, well, we know now if we don't screw up the... Um, chicane we can do a low mid to mid to low one minute I reckon second place on the grid now we've got one ahead of us we knew that would happen though man really flew through that last sector so I think rather than sort of trying to modulate the throttle through the turn what you want to do is just back off a little bit on turn in and then get straight back on it again. That seemed to work well, but anyway. Bring it in, and hopefully. Look out for the pit speed limit. Hopefully we can retain a decent um, grid position. Still second at the moment. Okay, so we managed to keep second on the grid, which is good. So, let's just get rid of our fuel and replacing tires so that if we have to pit, we don't end up doing all that stuff. 20 right, laps. Go. The track temp is 44. 20 Celsius. laps is a long time around this circuit. Okay, mate, get ready. Relax. Green, let's go, let's go. Good launch. Car right. Clear right. Into first. Now we're just going to hold it together. Well done, Will. Good start. Oh, got some chaos behind us. Don't want to focus on what's going on behind too much, though. Try and build a gap here. Let these guys all battle it out behind us and we can hopefully run away with this. You're now in the lead. Of a mistake there. Gaining on me, half a second behind. That was a 101.63. The guy behind has just done a 101.12. Okay, well, hold your nerve, just keep it smooth, no mistakes. It's going to be hard for this length of time. <laughs> no. 
little bit of excursion there, but I think we're okay. It's gaining on me though. You're leading. Thanks, Jim. Oh, no. Got a crasher behind us. Looks of things. Rachel Hembry, so it's a girl behind us, I think. Awesome, nice. Good to see that. Good to see that she's behind us too. <laughs> Hopefully she can regain that time and get back close again. That was unfortunate. concentration you need around here is just nuts. But yeah, going out wide there, it allows you to use the weight transfer of the car to sort of hook it around that next bend so you're not having to sort of fight the car through the turn. It makes a big difference. The gap behind is now 1.3 seconds. Just trying to pace myself here. I'm not trying to do quali laps. It's breaking a little bit sooner than I need to, just to try and keep it consistent. Catching me again. Pace. Sector 2 is 0.6 off the pace. I could go faster, but I don't want to make a mistake. If she starts to gain on me too much, I'll have to pick it up though.
definitely gain on me there. Half a second just in that lap. The lap time was at 101.70. Sector 2 is 0.8. Off the pace. That up. On your right. Yeah. Clear right. On your right. Clear right. I could feel the tail breaking away on me and I didn't want to... Um, the gap behind is now spinning, so I had to back out of the corner. He's faster than you, entering Big Bend. Alright. <clears throat> lucky not to get a penalty there. Just ignore him, he'll go away. to make the same mistake again now. Car right. Clear right. So much stress. Gonna get up my inside again here. That's half distance. You're looking good for fuel. That was a 101.87. On your right. Clear right. Right side. Clear Try right. To leave I'm going to do it again. Run out wide. Oh, she's lost it. Oh, no. <laughs> what a shame. That sucks. I was looking forward to the... Actually, I wasn't looking forward to the battle. <laughs> I was stressing out and sweating bullets here. We've only got a half second gap to Jordan behind us now, so we need to watch that too. Okay, Will. Don't let this guy distract you. Oh, she disconnected too. She's not bothering to continue. That's a shame.
Oh, he's run out wide now too. Gives us a chance to open a bit of a gap again. Clouding over now as well, which makes things tricky. from the guy behind. The gap's now 0.8. Good to hear. Oh, I got an off track, bugger. The stewards have warned us about track limits. I was hoping to have a completely clean race, but not gonna happen. Oh well. The track temperature's decreasing. It's now 42 Celsius. It's got a run on me. Try to cover off the inside line here. On your left. Hold your line. Clear left. The track temperature is decreasing. It's now 39 Celsius. All right. A few more laps. Sector one is 0.42 off the pace. Sector two is two tenths off the pace. Sector three is 0 0.05 off the pace. Yeah, that's because I'm pacing myself, buddy. I don't want to make mistakes. Don't be distracted. Defend your position. Gotta run again, cover the inside. Don't go for a dive. That lap time was 101.65. Don't give me a penalty. Oh, phew. Thought I was going to get a penalty for sure there. That was really close. Yellow flag. Caution. That last lap was a 101.34.
The track temperature is increasing. It's now 42 Celsius. Come on, Will. Two laps left. You're P1. Why did you say, come on, Will? What more do you want? All right, final lap, and we've got a decent gap again. <gasps> One more lap to go, stay focused. All right, well, don't let this guy distract you. Right up me, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! <laughs> First win. win. You deserved that today. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh, I, feel, I really do feel like I deserve that too. That was that was I think easily my best ever drive. That no mistakes other than that one off track. Didn't crack under pressure. Woo! <laughs> I'm absolutely exhausted after that. That was so much fun. Oh. First iRacing race with the new computer and first win. <laughs> All right, so let's have a quick look at the start here where we gained that position. So we had Clayton in front of us at this point. Rachel was in third. And I just straight got a better run, better start. Plenty of space on the inside there better exit so that was just a clean pass nothing wrong with that at all and I think if I recall correctly he got a little bit out of shape through the um, through the chicane the first time round and that must have given Rachel the run on him so it might actually change to his view so there he is oh yeah out of shape Okay, so Rachel's got the run now. Nice and clean, side by side. Got it done. Nice. Oh, we got another one. Oh, what's going on here? <laughs> Some good battling behind. I'm kind of glad I wasn't in that battle. <laughs> A clean race around here is not easy. So this is where Clayton got past. Run out a little wide. overcooked it I think in 
inside run for the next turn. So that was a nice clean pass there. Thought ahead, didn't just go for the dive bomb, thought a few corners ahead of how he could get past. That's the way you like to see it done. So what happened here, because Clayton dropped back, I think, quite a few positions. We're gonna have, oh, we're gonna have three wide into turn one. <laughs> Maybe. Not too wide, oh no, no. All kind of straightened out. Oh, and he got hit. Oh, no. And he's, he managed to hold on to it. So that's where he lost the positions. Damn. Nice little tap in the backside. So at this point, I had a pretty decent lead. About a second and a half, I think. Rachel ran out wide. Oh, okay, yep. Yeah, that was how she got out of shape there. But then she crashed later on in that turn. So this gave Jordan the run on her. And she was under pressure here. And I think I kind of, I backed off a little bit here because I was feeling that I was going to make a mistake. <laughs> Probably backed off a little bit too much. They got a bit closer to me again. Okay, so start of lap nine. This is where I started to come under pretty heavy pressure again. I made a big mistake into turn one. She, that was the first time she actually got a run on me. And I basically, I just, I just braked. I didn't brake quite heavy enough. I could feel the back end starting to skate under me and I just had to back out of the corner a little bit without losing it completely. But she was right up me here. And this is where I was starting to, you know, I could feel myself about to make a mistake just from being under pressure. Especially because I knew that their, their entry speed into this section was a lot quicker than mine as well. And I think this must be where she crashed. Or maybe it was the next lap after. So she was under quite a lot of pressure from behind from Jordan as well. Is this where she crashed? No, it must have been the next lap. <laughs> Three wide. Left plenty of space there again. They're braking a little later than I am, but I feel like I get a better exit because I'm braking. It's just differences in approach. But I felt like consistently I was getting a better exit there. And this is where I get really nervous because I know that I'm slower into the entry to the chicane than those other guys were, so... Every time I braked here, I knew they were going to close up and I was just waiting for somebody to take a dive. But we kept it clean. Oh, Jordan got out wide there too. She had a run on me again here. And again, just a difference in approach. Managed to keep it pinned on the outside. Thankfully, it's a nice wide track here, so you can allow somebody space on the inside and get the inside line for the next turn. So you don't have to worry too much about covering off mid-corner. Must be where she lost it. Oh no! Oh, it was a big hit too. That's a shame. That was a real shame because I was looking forward to continuing that battle. So let's have a look at the replay of that. All right. So what happened? Too early on the gas. Yeah, too early on the gas. Oh, that's mean though. I've had exactly the same thing happen in that exact same spot. So I know how easy it is to make that mistake. 
What a shame. So on to lap 12 now, which I think where Jordan was probably the closest to me. We'll just watch this one and then we'll skip forward and see if anything else interesting happened. So I don't think it was a scruffy lap for me particularly. I think I was probably a little bit cautious. But I felt like by this point, I kind of I knew where he was fast and where, where, where I was quicker. So I was able to sort of pace my lap and make sure that I was being easy on the areas where I thought I might make a mistake. And then just sort of power through those last few turns. But he definitely had a run on me there. I feel like there's definitely still improvement to be had through here, just in terms of consistency. I'm sure I can consistently get quicker through there. And then end of lap 16, beginning of lap 17 was an another time he got really Big close. Bend. So I think he actually got a run on me here again. Nah, he backed out of it. Really good racing. It felt like he, there was a couple of opportunities there where he probably could have gone for a dive. There's an incident in. Right-hander. And then the final lap. He did get very close. He got a better exit in the last turn. I think he just kind of went for it, whereas I was being a little conservative. I was pretty confident that I just didn't want to run out of the grass and, um, and bin it. So I took it easy. I was pretty confident that he wouldn't have enough exit speed to catch me even if he got a perfect run, which he ended up not. So that was good. close <laughs> and that's it so quick look at the results here so we ended up winning by 0.12 of a second if it had been a longer straight i think he probably would have ended up getting me kind of like last week's race where i got crossed across the line i just i've backed out of that last turn a little bit you know uh, just under under pressure and under nerves to not make a mistake but i kind of i calculated the gap in my head i kind of knew that i didn't need to get the best exit and i'd probably still win the race uh, in terms of lap times, how did we go? We did a 101.1, which was 0.2 off the best. I feel like I probably could have done mid to low one minutes if I'd wanted to. Uh, obviously, I was pacing myself and being a little bit cautious, but we still had, relative to the other guys, we had a pretty good fastest lap. Uh, Bill was a little bit quicker and uh, Rachel obviously was a little bit quicker as well, but not by much. But uh, yeah, in terms of qualifying, let's just have a quick look here as well. 0.018 slower than first place we were. Not that it mattered in the end anyway, because he ended up having that mistake. But yeah, as I said, I feel like I definitely could have gone faster in qualifying if I'd managed to put a decent lap together. But that's the way it goes sometimes. All right, guys, so hopefully you found that entertaining. That was probably one of the most enjoyable and stressful races I think I've ever done. That was even more stressful than the 100% career length race I did in F1 2019 a couple of weeks ago. When you're under pressure from other people and you know it's such a difficult circuit that's so easy to make a mistake on, it really does make you feel it. And I think my heart rate, it'd be interesting to actually monitor my heart rate for the next race and see what actually happens because I could really feel myself getting worked up and kind of like where I got taken out in that race before and you saw me get really angry and frustrated. I could kind of feel myself a little bit twitchy and jumpy at the end of the race. But uh, that's what makes this kind of sim racing so exciting. You know, you really do get that ad adrenaline rush that you feel in, you know, real life track racing when you get a good battle like that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed watching that as much as I enjoyed participating. Uh, we'll be back again next week for, I think we're up to around eight or nine of the championship now. So only a couple more weeks to go in the MX-5s. And I think next season I might give the skip barbers a turn. But um, we're going to be doing a bunch of other sim racing stuff this week as well. I want to try and do a bit more F1 2019 stuff again. Maybe even try to do the next um, the next career mode race as well. It's been a couple of weeks since I've done that, simply because I wanted to get the new machine up and running to get the quality as good as it can possibly be. But we've also got a bunch of new equipment to test out this week as well. So we've got a whole bunch of gear from Fnatic, the CSL range. Uh, McLaren wheel as well. So I'm going to be reviewing all of that for you guys, unboxing, doing that sort of thing. We've also got a couple of wheel stands and cockpit assemblies from Next Level Racing to test out and review for you guys as well. So heaps of content in the pipeline for the next couple of weeks. Now we're all up and running with the new machine. 
we can really start pumping out a whole bunch of content. But as always, if you've enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button, and of course the notification bell as well so you don't miss the next video. And if you are interested in purchasing any of the gear that you see in my videos, I do have affiliate links in the description. A small percentage from those sales goes back to me to help out with the costs of running this channel, provide all the equipment and things like that and keep me making videos. So if you enjoy the videos, that is a great way that you can support the channel. But the best support is always to just watch the videos, share them with your mates, and of course, as well, while I remember, do also jump into our Discord community as well. Whole bunch of really good guys there, and I keep on saying it, we're definitely gonna be organizing some um, some Discord races, some community races very soon as well. Now we've got the machine up and running, I've got a lot more time to get that organized. And I actually put up a post last night asking for some details for some people to get that arranged. But anyway, I'm starting to ramble, so I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.